Welcome guys. Uh, I'm excited to take you through some hockey today. I am Coach Mike and this is my buddy. Uh, Coach Ian, very excited to be here with you today. So before we get started today, we want to make sure that you guys have some time to go grab what the equipment that you're going to need. So if you have a stick, go get it. If you do not have a stick, do not worry. You can use a broomstick. You can use a straight stick from outside. Pretty much anything that resembles what I have here. Um, again, if you do not have a ball, that's perfectly fine too. You can use an old piece of fruit, an orange, a crumpled up piece of paper. There's many things that we can use as long as it rolls you're good to go. So if you have anything like that, go grab it before we get started. And uh, then we're gonna get going. Some of the most fun I'll say that you're always gonna have is playing hockey, street hockey with those kids, your friends that um, you know aren't even hockey players. The, the most fun that I had was always going out in the street. So don't think of it as we need the ice because what you need, you have right here, you have right in the driveway, you have out on the road. Awesome. So today we are going to work on stick handling. Uh, it's very important to the sport, but before we get going, I want to kind of give you guys the basic body position. Uh, you want to have your feet spread apart. We don't want to be massively spread apart or very close together, just kind of shoulder width apart. Our arms are just going to fall flat to our sides, nice and loose. Our stick can go right off of our right or left leg, depending on what hand we are. That second hand that is not on the stick right now is gonna come somewhere in the middle. Okay, we don't wanna to be too high up, we don't have great mobility, and we don't wanna to be too low because then we can't keep our eyes up. And that is a huge part of what we're going to be working on today. Once you get the basic drill down, we want you guys to really focus on keeping your eyes up. It's a big part of the game of hockey, um, and it's something that you will hear us say to you a lot throughout this camp. Okay, um, and now without anything else, hopefully you guys have your equipment by now. We're gonna get started with a nice easy drill just to ease you into things. So we want you to get your ball and stick, place the ball right between your legs, feet again, shoulder width apart. And we're just gonna push that ball side to side and we're gonna meet it on the other side. So we're gonna push, lift up and meet. And we're just gonna go from one foot to the other, nice and easy sliding that ball. We don't want to smack the ball because then we lose control of it, okay? So we just want to push that ball side to side and you can see how I'm somewhat shifting my body as I do it too. I'm not keeping my body here and reaching completely with my arms. My hips and my upper body go side to side with the stick, okay? Now, if this is becoming too easy for you, we're gonna add a little bit of a challenge in. We want you guys to see if you can go a little bit quicker. And again, remember to keep your eyes up. If you lose the ball like I did, that's okay. Bring it right back to the spot and keep going. You wanna go all the way through and really almost over-exaggerate those motions so they start to feel normal to you. Now we're gonna give you 30 seconds to go. We want you to do this on your own. While you're doing it, remember, eyes are up. Try and keep your head up. It's gonna be very difficult. You're gonna lose the ball. Just grab it right back, keep going. All right, and challenge yourself. If it gets too easy, let's start going a little quicker, a little quicker. All right, 30 seconds, and try and keep count of how many you're doing. One, two, three, four. So now we have 30 seconds for you guys, starting in three, two, one, go. All right, look at Coach Mike, he's going. I want you to keep up with him. Try and keep up with Coach Mike right now. Eyes up, eyes up. It's all right if you lose it. Get that ball back, keep going, keep it's going. It's okay to peek down too if you have to. Just make sure you bring those eyes right back up. We're not saying don't ever look down. We're just saying make it quick so you don't get hit. There you go, keep it up, keep it up. 10 seconds left, try We're and pick up the there. pace. Try and pick up the pace. Good job, there we go, five. Four, three, two, one. Good job. Way to go. Nice, nice. Good job, everybody. Go ahead, get a quick drink of water if you need to. Take a quick breather. And we're gonna get into the next drill. We are still gonna be doing some stick handling. Okay, this time what we're gonna do is we're going to stick handle strictly on our forehand side. Okay, so those of you that don't know what forehand means, that's okay. It's the way the stick is curved or your strong hand. So if you write righty, your forehand is going to be on the right side of your body. Okay, if you write lefty like me, your forehand is going to be on the left side of your body. 
It is important to be able to stick handle on your forehand because a lot of what we are going to be doing is coming from this side of our body, whether it be protecting the puck from the opponent and fending them off, keeping our body between them and the puck, or whether it be making a pass to our teammate from this position, or getting a shot on goal from this position. A lot of what happens on the ice starts from this position. So it's really important that we work on this and have complete control on this side. Okay, so I think everybody's back from getting some water for now. Let's get the ball on our forehand side. Our sticks are gonna be across our body right here, almost as a third foot. And we just wanna cradle that ball from almost our butt to our toes. Nice and easy. Again, we wanna keep our eyes up, okay? And we wanna try to go quickly if we can. Get control of it, get the feel for the drill, and then try and speed it up, okay? Again, we're gonna go 30 seconds and start out a little slower, all right? And work up, start going quicker. You're getting comfortable, pick those eyes up. We'll start in three, two, one, go. There we go, it's and all right, grab it, get it right back. Really try and stretch out those stick handling, really go long. We don't wanna see short and choppy. We wanna see it stretched out from all the way from our butt, farther back, all the way to out in front of our toes. Once you get comfortable, really try and stretch that stride out with your stick and make sure that you're covering as much surface area Ten as seconds, you possibly can. 10 seconds, okay? keep it up. As many as you can, pick up the pace, a little quicker, a little quicker, a little quicker. Done, good job. Good, good. Way to go guys. You guys are doing awesome, keep it up. We know this is the first time for some of you or very early on in the sport for some of you, you guys are doing great, okay? Everybody's gotta start somewhere. I still mess up on these things. I still practice these things. I know Coach Ian practices these things and we have our teams do all of this stuff as well. Um, okay, the next drill. We are going to be doing figure eights, stick handling, okay? If you do not have a figure eight set of cones to stick handle around, we have some things you can use, okay? You can use towels, you can use your shoes if you would like, okay? Whatever you need to do to just set a barrier for yourself out in front of you, all right? That's all you need. You can use anything. You can get rocks from the driveway, Rocks from outside, you can use empty bottles, just anything that creates a barrier for you. And we wanna start again. Stick right in the middle, okay? Nice and easy, and all we're gonna do is go up, around, back through the middle, and around. So we are using both our forehand and backhand to stick handle on this drill, okay? Nice and easy. You can reverse the direction you're going. So if you want to go like this, you can do that, all right? If you want to go forward here, you can do that. Whatever you are doing that's making you most comfortable and getting the most out of the drill for you, that's what we want you guys to be doing, okay? A great one to practice right here. We'll go for 30 seconds again. Remember, this one's gonna be a little more difficult, all right? Make sure you really take your time in the beginning. Try and keep that control of the ball. Here we go in three, two, one, Go. Good job. Again, Take your time. it's very important, like we were talking about in the last drill, to stretch out as far as you can go around. I'm not going just up to the shoe, okay? I'm going farther out around, and I'm working on stretching my arms out so I get comfortable having the puck away from my body or ball away from my body and stick handling, okay? There nice you go, and guys. easy. Keep Again, it up. this is not going to be as easy to keep your eyes up during the whole thing, so... It's okay if you look down every now and then, it's okay. You're gonna try to get better each time you do this. You're not gonna be perfect the first time and you might not ever be perfect, but that's okay. We're gonna do it together. 10 seconds. We're almost there. There we go, guys. Finish strong, finish strong. And we're done. Whew. Good job, way to go, way to go. Awesome work, guys, awesome work. So real quick, if there's some of you like me and Coach Ian who took our shoes off for the drill, let's throw our shoes back on. If you did not take your shoes off for the drill, no big deal. Just get a quick drink of water while we do this. And we've got one last drill for you guys where we're gonna kind of combine all of what we learned today 
and put it into motion. So we're gonna start kind of moving around a little bit here. We're gonna need a little bit more space. If you don't have too much, that's perfectly fine. All right, so the next thing that we want to do is we are going to work on stick handling while moving. So we're gonna go forward out in front of us and then we're gonna walk it back, okay? While we do this, especially going backwards, you wanna make sure you're going at your own pace and you wanna make sure that you're looking where you're going, okay? So again, take your time, be under control and do it at your own pace. Every time you do this, you're trying to get better. So if it's your first time, just get the drill down and then next time when you log in and you do this, you'll be knowing what you have to improve on and where you can get better, okay? So mark a spot out in front of you, again, if you don't have anything, you can use a piece of trash and we are going to stick handle forwards. We want you guys to be moving that ball side to side while you're doing it, not just pushing it out in front of you like that, okay? It's very important that we're stick handling because when we're doing this, we have the ability to then protect the ball. If we're just pushing it, it's a lot harder for me to get in this position where I can protect the ball or puck from the opponent, okay? Right. Again, we're gonna go 30 seconds on the clip. And feel free to always do more reps of these once you've got them down and we know what we're doing. But for now, we're gonna go for our 30 seconds again. And before, oops, sorry. Before we do that, guys, I just wanna show you what the full drill will look like. Again, when you're going forwards, you're stick handling as well as when you're coming backwards. You wanna look over that shoulder and keep the eyes up. So stick handling forward and then backwards, pulling it back, okay? So like Ian was saying, Equipment, We're... let's get ready, line up, make sure you have your space, know what's in front of you, know what's behind you. 30 seconds in three, two, one, go. Good job, look around, look around. Keep those eyes up, we know where we're going, know where we're going. There you go, try and keep those hands moving, not pushing it, not pushing it, keep those hands going back and forth, back and forth, good job. Feel the ball on the stick, you wanna feel it, nice push back and forth. There you go, grab it, get it right back. And feel comfortable doing it out in front of you, but also work on that forehand side that we worked on too. Putting that ball on the side in that position. So out in front of you, as well as on the side. 10 seconds, okay, And 10 if you seconds. stumble, no big deal. Oh, that's not a big deal. Just pull it back towards you and keep going. Good you job. You guys are doing great, keep it up. And done, way to go, good job. Nice way to be moving. That's some of the hardest stuff to do. Always in hockey is moving while keeping your head up and stick handling at the same time. Great job. And remember, you're not always gonna be able to do it to the ability that you want to, but we need to practice, we need to keep doing it, especially the things that make us uncomfortable because that's how we're gonna get better. All right, just like in uh, any other sport you see, um, soccer, you know, the, the rainbow over the head, uh, lacrosse, throwing the ball around the back and catching it, um, whatever your sport may be, hockey has those moves too. Really fun ones to work on, um, and they're a little trickier too. So this one we're gonna kinda go slower. It's not how many you can do, we're just gonna try and get the motion down for this one. While stick handling, we're gonna try and pull the ball right behind our back, and we're just gonna pull it between our feet and kick it back up to our stick. So again, take it a little slower on the first one, pull it back and push it up between your feet and then kicking it right up. In a fluid motion, it comes all as one, right up, kicking and keep going. We'll give you guys 30 seconds to try this one as well. And again, take your time with this, feel the motion first and feel it. It's, it's a difficult thing to do, but it's a fun one as well. In three seconds, three, two, one, Go. There you go. Just pulling it right back, right behind the back. Pull it right up oh. between the feet. Good job. There you go. Keep it up. Keep it up. It's a hard one. Good job. 10 seconds, 10 seconds. Right between the oh. feet. Kick it right back up. That's right. Keep going. Keep going. And done. Good job.